Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Tales of Monkey Island. So, we're gonna talk to the voodoo lady. I bet she doesn't give us any helpful information about the singe. Let's see. Can Grog stave off the pox? I don't think we're Why didn't you tell this. me that Grog could be used to stave off the effects of the pox? Grog? Grog won't cure the pox of Lechuk. It will only make it worse. How can Grog hmm. make anything worse? Hmm. Your hand may seem fine now, but when it wakes up, it'll be even nastier than ever. You've just got a thing against Grog. Hmm. Let's just ask everything. Or, I guess this is the same question again? Why didn't you tell me that Grog could be- yep. Grog? How can Grog make- Your hand- Exact same You've just conversation. Got so we don't need to ask about this, this, or this. The thing I wanted to know was about Marquis de Singe. Do you know anything about the Marquis de Singe? I do not trust that man, nor do I understand him. He tried to cut off my hand. This does not surprise me. Scientists such as de Singe will shatter the soul of the world to answer a few petty riddles. The fates alone know what he's done to this poor island. Hmm. I found evidence that Desinge has been manipulating the winds of Flotsam Island. Then you must work to restore them. Ill winds such as these are not natural and must be returned to their proper balance. So That's she's kind of acting night. like a hint system. Anything else you think I should know about this pox? Only that it must be stopped. And that you are the only one who can stop it. That's kind of a pointless line of dialogue. Are you sure you can't help me get off Flotsam Island? As I hmm. said, the mysteries of Flotsam are above my pay grade. Seek out others to assist you. So she's... She's kind of just repeating well, that she's this useless. This is disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. And we got rid of our nose that had the plant to talk to animal uh, seafaring creatures. Which probably means in a future chapter we will talk to mermaids. Because we know mermaids lived on this island for a short time. So we're looking for something pretty normal in the form of an axle. I just don't know how to get it. And without that axle piece, I can't fix the broken item that I need to fix. So we're gonna probably just have to go door to door and see if we can find something. Um. Squeaky blood red carpet. Yeah. And let's look at our inventory just to make sure. Mask on the door? Nah. Club 41. Hmm. I wonder what the 41 stands for. Pirate wreaks havoc. Bars tossed, ships seized in wake of Threepwood's hmm. swashbuckling chaos. A wake of chaos. Neat. Is this the same response each time? Pirate wreaks havoc. Bar yep. A wake of uh, so we have an ink vat. And nothing really new to do with ink vat. I don't want to get ink all over that. Actually, I kind of do, but I don't think it'll help. Hmm. Today's forecast calls for the pox of the truck oozing in from the Rock of Gelato, combining with lots of stubbornly sucking winds to create a Cat 5 crud storm. There's a lot of items in this game using the Telltale Engine that I feel like they made them have sound effects and did never call the assured the volume of those sound effects for where a character might be standing Lots in the game. Holler Gazette. All the news that floats will print. And it's uh, causing me to think that there's 
they're important items when they very well might not be. It's nice to see the keel hauler printing press back in action. I wonder if I should have held out for some royalties. So I probably need to break this, I just don't know how. It's locked. Um And even getting to the printing press is difficult. That's not made of unbreakable glass. Hmm. We can hey talk there. to Hemlock again. See if he has anything new to say. What do you want now? Hmm. So long. Yeah, whatever. I And unless me changing the wind slightly has changed things, Alphabet sail. I think I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of out of ideas. Will the grease fire help with anything? Let's see. Burn that. I'm not burning that up. I might need it someday. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't have anything else to burn. I could try this. I'm not burning that up. I might need it hmm. someday. Um, I'm not burning that up. I might need it someday. Yeah, unless where my cannon lands ends up somewhat different. We still have this tar barrel in the hatch, too. There'll be plenty of time for frolicking in the ship's hold later. Hmm. Five. Not again! Hmm. And this still doesn't work with this. I don't this. think that a YouTube would be useful there. It's not made of unbreakable glass. And this... I don't think anything short of explosive force is going to open up that tar barrel. Hmm. I don't think anything short of explosive force is going to open up that tar barrel. And the only other axle potentially to get is the wheel. Yes, it's a rollicking pirate adventure for me. Just as soon as the winds start blowing away from the island. Hmm. And this doesn't work with the wheel. I think this thing only works on ancient flotsam artifacts. And this on the nope. wheel? Hmm. This on the That's wheel. not made of unbreakable glass. So unless I'm missing something. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Hmm. We may have to go back to the... Mm, no. We may just have to go back to the big statue wind device. Let's see if maybe there's a different way to finish off that final puzzle. And breaking all of this doesn't change anything. And I don't think there's anything to do with the pillar. Carvings of mermaids, or are they mermen? Hmm. It 
don't really have the education, jacket, or fedora to properly interpret ambiguous ancient carvings. So we go to the giant doorway. Very slowly. Very slowly we walk to the giant doorway. Maybe if I use this here, I can break it somehow. Now that the door's open, I really don't want to close it again. Hmm. So that doesn't work. If anything. I was thinking maybe you could break something in the doorway. According to the Singe, this ancient doohickey controls the winds on Flotsam Island, somehow. What if we did this again? It won't let me. It's locked. If I understood the Singe correctly through his crazy accent, this ancient doohickey will reverse the winds of Flotsam. If I summon the correct wind gods. Hmm. That's not made of unbreakable glass. Uh uh. Hmm. I don't think so. <sighs> So we have the okay, dock. Let's figure out the final wind idle thingy and get the heck sorry for it. Oh, it triggered oh, something geez. new. Oh, so now we're gonna try and trick him. So you couldn't even do this until you triggered this cutscene, and there was no indication whatsoever to trigger this in this cutscene. What should have happened? is after we had done the second to last idol, it should have immediately walked us and forced us into this cutscene. That way it was impossible to miss. I've wasted, I think, probably at least five minutes wandering around, uh, not being able to do anything at all because of this. Just bad story flow, bad gameplay flow. Hey look, it's King Louis the Twelfth! My liege, I thought you were dead! And grab the rifle. Yeah. Okay, I I've got it. I was supposed to use the YouTube. The Fine. Good thing the Singe's rifle is just as wimpy as the man who built it. Alright. So if I just walk this way. You're still here? But of course. Hmm. How'd you beat me here anyway? <laughs> Once I heard the third change in the wind, it was child's play for a scientifically trained intellect of my stature to deduce which of the four winds remained. Hmm. So, now what? Now, my annoying pirate friend, you hand over that ancient liverometer device. I restore the winds to their full sucking force, and you accompany me to my laboratorium so that I can properly remove and study your hand with the pointy sticks of science! Hmm. Leverometer? The thing with the seahorse on it! Oh, yeah, I don't think I'll be giving you that. <laughs> so now I've seen all the lines of dialogue, I can go ahead let's and try this solve again. this. We oui. let's. Oh my! It's King Louis the Thirteenth. Mon Dieu! And... There probably wasn't the 13th. What was that fooping sound? Beats me. Now if you'll just stop waving that rifle around, I've got some winds to change. Not so fast, insignificant pirate person. Sacre merde! Okay. 
puzzle solved in a way I was not expecting. I figured we'd use the gun, not this. And so I've got to use this on him, so I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm pretty sure that the Singe doesn't have the necessary slots. Hmm. Alright, well... Then let's just go ahead and see if this works. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Hmm. Let's let's see. Put this on it. Nah. And again, it glitched a pretty obvious bug. We still have the YouTube, really? I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Let's just look at this. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Hmm. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm pretty sure that the Singe doesn't have the necessary slots. Hmm. Nope. Hmm, no. So you don't use the mask. That's not made of unbreakable glass. Hmm. But I could do this forever and like I don't need to see that in manatee vision. Hmm. So maybe we combine this with this. Nope. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm pretty sure that the singe doesn't have the necessary slots. Hmm. Were you supposed to just guess? Randomly spinning these dials is getting me nowhere. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's only four on the ancient weather vane, but I haven't been paying enough attention to know. Interesting the ones that it hasn't been but I don't think I've had a three eye with a curvy lips before so let's let's assume mm. that this is it and then let's see let's look again so this one here three eye I see. flat drippy nose with a curvy mouth There we go. So I don't think we've used this this one, and since there's only four on there, through process of elimination, I think this is the right one. Kind of a too difficult puzzle. What's happening? Of course, this also probably means that that pox storm oh, is getting right. spread even further now. Ooh, the pox is blowing out to sea. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the fundament. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Zutalor! The winds! Do you have any idea what you've done? 
We sell to win the flotsam and bringing a steady supply of injury-prone paratest subjects. The pace of my groundbreaking experiments was slow to a crawl. Talk to the hand, sicko, cause the pirate ain't listening. Ugh! Mark my words, Thripwood. You'll rue the day you cross the Marquis de Singe. And your little hand, too. <laughs> rue? I don't know the meaning of the word. Well, looks like my work here is done. I better hurry back to the screaming narwhal before the flock. They kind of did the same, win. same joke twice, and now they're snapping again. They they had stopped stopped snapping for a while, which was nice. Get us the heck out of here before the winds change. With pleasure, Captain. So, if we're leaving Flotsam Island, I, one can assume that we don't need any of the items here that we don't have. Otherwise, that would just be an absolute game over scenario. Or maybe we can just come back to Flotsam and in the next chapter they'll introduce a second island and we go back and forth. If the first chapter was in its entirety supposed to be a tutorial, that wouldn't be terrible, but it would also make the game really big. Okay. Let's find Elaine. Let's pretend like we care about her. Mr. Van Winslow, if you would be so kind, I would like you to set sail for... Come again, sir. I said set a course for... Come on. Again, Come on, doesn't on, matter sir. what your choice your choice is. So we can't Winslow? Sir. Set a course for here. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> Ow! You can't point either. Interesting. So there is one more puzzle. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Or later tonight. Our cursed hand is proving to be problematic. Nothing like a deafening cannon discharge to clear the mind. Hmm. And yeah, let's see if we can climb the mast now. That's the main mast of the screaming narwhal. Or main tree. And the hatch. Ow! I can't open the hatch and the tar barrel. Hmm, this tar might be useful. Ow! Um. What are we supposed to do? Can we get rid of this and just be done with it? I've broken the YouTube. I better get another. So now I can't get another. That's good. We can be satisfied to be out of that. Um. Let's see. Once I get off this stupid island and find Elaine, I guess I'm gonna have to track down this Decava guy so I can find La Esponja Grande. Let's see. Look at this. I see. And it's not even showing it on screen. Quarter decks. I can't leave. Captain on deck! So he does something different. When you up Mr. Here. Van Winslow, set sail for the. What's that, sir? I said, make way to the. Well, that's not gonna work. Hmm. How about we turn the wheel? Whoa. There we go. That's what we needed to do. Is we needed to spin this so we can that's one strong barrel 
and then fire the cannon. Well, that's just swell. My brand new ship's all covered with tar. This is all your fault, you know. Ow! And now that just the ship. And let's just pick up the tar with our hand. Hey, I bet this sticky puddle of tar would be perfect for trapping my evil hand. Hmm. Well, I guess I shouldn't have tipped my um, hand. Hmm. Let's see. What do we use the tar with? Now, why would I want to get that all covered with sticky tar? We lost our parrot, so that's... Now, why would I want to get that all covered with sticky tar? Hmm. Wouldn't it be crazy if I actually did need to use YouTube? Now, why would I want to get that all covered with sticky tar? Hmm. Map. Winslow! Tipton! Just go where I point. Oh, come on! Ugh, stupid boxed hand! Ugh. Yo! Hmm. What the? Hey, it worked. Can't reach tar sticking pronouns failing. Guess I'm stuck. Hey, well, we solved it. Mr. Winslow, make way for <laughs> the Rock of Gelato. Aye, aye, Captain. So a short little puzzle. Give me some grog for this hand. And he's gonna use grog to make it even worse. Finally, the rock of gelato. Now to find Elaine. Mr. Van Winslow, my spyglass. Aye, aye, sir. Huh. Elaine's ship looks pretty good considering that it was exploding the last time I saw it. Well, where's my ship? And Elaine, is she out looking for me? Hmm. Is she still in the Chuck's clutches? Is her beautiful bloated corpse slowly rotting at the bottom of the... Hey! What's that? Winslow, enhance the upper right quadrant 50%. <laughs> it's my ship! Winslow, full enhancement! Elaine! I'm coming, Plunder Bunny! Wait, what's that? Oh no. It's LeChuck! Elaine, look out! Thunder Bunny? Guybrush Threepwood. I've been waiting a long time for this. Um, could you wait a little longer? To be continued in Chapter 2, The Siege of Spinner... Cat? Was that the last word? Or... So... As far as length, not bad. We've gotten at least three hours of gameplay out of the first chapter. If it's like m most other Telltale games, it will be a little shorter, but it probably won't be uh, as bad as the worst example I've seen, which was the Minecraft story mode game, where they stretched that out into way too many extra chapters and and... DLC on top of something that was effectively already DLC uh, because that's what episodic release is. It's it's the worst combination. I've said it many times but it's the worst combination of pre-ordering and DLC because you're effectively pre-ordering all five chapters when you buy chapter one and also paying DLC prices to get chapter two, three, four, and five. Uh, but you can't really do just chapter one otherwise you get a very unfinished story. Obviously, the guy, that was the pirate hunter that was had the sword to Guybrush's throat. And if it wasn't pretty obvious, the human LeChuck is apparently trying to be nice and good to Elaine Marley. Which would kind of make sense because I think they did date before he turned into a pirate in, in the first game. So... We're really just coming back around here. I haven't been paying much attention to the credits here. Eh, a lot of people. A lot of people listed here. Not sure how much of 
them actually worked on the game because we're already up to operations legal and play testing uh, so how many of how many really programmed how many really wrote uh, as far as gameplay mechanics the telltale tool really can't have any major gameplay mechanics like it is just point and click and walk around and oddly in modern telltale games you don't even really do too much of that uh, so the main thing is just were the puzzles good in chapter one I'd say for the most part they were pretty good uh, nothing incredibly difficult nothing very confusing was the writing great no but it was average it was acceptably okay uh, some jokes got repeated and that would have been fine but some some of the jokes were kind of repeated back to back at least in a couple instances uh, which you, you can't do that that's not a callback to a joke if you literally remind the player that there was a joke and then you do that joke again uh, here they're talking about their pets and apparently even a couple of babies were born and now we're getting thunderstorm copyright 2009 telltale the graphics were all right they still suffer from some clipping issues and the fact that the telltale tool is just not good at graphics i you still definitely have that feeling though that this is not a LucasArts point and click game or a Ron Gilbert uh, Monkey Island game and I could certainly see why if Ron Gilbert was allowed to just reboot the series at number three get rid of Escape from Monkey Island and Curse from Monkey Island and Tales from Monkey Island and just start where he kind of finished like it would probably be more in line suppose we can save the game like, there's really no reason to? Well, I guess you can't. Uh, alright, well. And since this is one of the earlier Telltale games, Chapter 2 is its own application. Literally, you wouldn't even have to have owned Chapter 1 to play Chapter 2. You would just be lost in the story. And so we'll start Chapter 2 next time. We're right on time at the 30 minute mark. That's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.